Oh, what a good boy. Stealing Marcus's hay. Bridal? Yeah. Hanging in. It should be hanging in the um, wash gong. Not afraid of the stick either. <laughs> That's a plus. He likes to have everything in his mouth. Thanks <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. He's a goober gelding. Entertainment. <laughs> well, I should have given him the ball. I know. Oh, what a good boy. You're just too cute. alone. We built his confidence a little bit by working together. So I would be on another course. Um, and today we're back at it and we're going to show you Walk Trot Canner. Okay, you can go ahead up to Trot.
with. It's been a walk trot horse and a driver prior to coming here. So he is just learning the canner. And we would be asking him for the trot to do that. And he has been picking it up pretty nice. That's nice. Feels good. Yeah. a snaffle, miler, loose cabison, no real pressure. Okay, go ahead down to walk. And you can go ahead and change direction. We'll do a little bit of trotting the other way. We head off with two um, to show to the Sooner Morgan show next week. And we are taking Max with us just to make sure being back in that environment is not going to be any trigger for him or bad experience. Um, I don't anticipate at this point. He seems very confident and comfortable with us. and. Honestly, I think, you know, he's not going to be that super flashy. Okay, you can go ahead and trot. Um, fire breathing dragon. But I do see him as a confidence building horse. And he wants to please. ground is really hard. He's a little tender going in this direction. He lost both shoes when he first got here and there was not much to nail a shoe to so he's just getting readjusted to his feet. No real major concern. We were super soft and then we got really really hard. This is clay mud here, so everybody's kind of going through a little bit of tenderness. Good. Okay, you can go ahead and walk. boy. So he pricked up on this cue pretty quickly and he's not really, he's not giving us any trouble whatsoever. No, um, no bucking, no refusing. So I do think it's going to come pretty quickly with time. So there is Field Crest Warlord. He's much more confident and pretty much has now gone wherever we ask him to. And all the scary things, all by himself. hasn't done any of the behavior we first saw when he got here being stressed out but I have not um, we 
don't, we haven't used it to get them ready. So it could go away. Um, the cribbing itself is nothing that bugs me. He does less of it on the gut maintenance and he has a full hay bag. So most of the time he's eating and not doing that behavior. He will do it on the door when he eats his grain sometimes, but I think overall it is slowed down. Will it go away? I don't know. It's, it's not something that concerns me or holds me back based on the horse he is. And I am here by myself, so I do use the cross ties to hitch when we drive. And he does drive, so um, we'll probably get some of that when we get back from the show. He just needs to hold everything. Let me just hold on to that for you. anyone refuse that face. Right. Look at him. You gotta move your feet, buddy. He's not afraid of kittens. And we clipped him today. He was not bothered at all by the clippers. And he even let me do the outside of his ears. He dropped his head. So there's no, um, there's no fear of the clippers issue with him. So there you go. Not totally gone away, but working on it.
boy.